Hi, it's Kim. Welcome to my channel today. Bradford pears are blooming, everything's white, and my giant hypertufa is looking really good with its moss growing fine. There are a lot of weeds in it that I've had to get in there with pliers and tweezers and pull out. Not sure what the weeds are, I think it's chickweed. It has little nodding white bell flowers, but everything's going pretty well. That's the weeping cherry blooming too. So now here is the big hypertufa trough full of the moss and how it looks uh, here in April of 2020. I think it's growing pretty nice. Um, you can see some of my uh, bulbs that I planted or corms. Those are the dwarf iris that have come up. Um, not many have come up, so I'm not sure how they'll be doing and it was on the opposite end that I put anemones and so far I've not seen anything come up and I have had those before and they bloom in April so I don't know if I've lost every one of those they didn't make it or what but I've seen no evidence of anything on that far end now I still have bits and pieces of brown moss but it seems that other parts of the moss have um, gone from brown to growing back into green. You can see like hints of green on edges and then it gradually just gets green again. So I don't know if that's something typical of the different mosses and I have not been able to identify any. I'm really not sure of their names but I'd love to know their names. Now you can see all those tiny little spores that are growing on the end of little stalks. Each different type of moss has a different like stalk. These almost look like little tiny balls on a short stalk on this type of moss. And then the others have longer ones growing. Now this is a liverwort that I included. I tried to identify it. I think it's Marcantia, Marcantia, and you can see those little round cups, little tublets that lay on the top of that little flat leaf. Now this is among all the other stalks of the mosses. Now since liverwort is like a moss and some of the liverworts are leafy, one of those could be um, a liverwort also. Now these stalks are kind of look like a lot of tangled hair, but they're all different and since I am having a lot of the spores growing. I'm kind of looking forward to having a lot more moss to spread this year. But I think it's looking pretty good. I like the colors of it. There's different shades of green and blue. Now that liverwort there has little stalks like an umbrella. It almost looks like Creeping Charlie, but it's like a little stalk with an umbrella type thing over the liverwort. Now that's some of the parts that have turned green from being a brown color. But they just have different shades that are very, very interesting. Now I'm hoping I do have blooming irises, but I guess we'll have to see. Uh, here's another long shot of the tufa. It's about uh, roughly three to four foot long, I forget. Its pedestals have worked out just fine. They're concrete blocks and uh, we've had it mulched around here and so they're just um, covered a little bit. But I think it's really worked out fine and where its location is, it was a little bit sheltered and perhaps that made a difference. Some of my hosta is starting to grow. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep the hosta. I may decide to move the hosta and just cluster up more of the hypertufa troughs up in this area. But if I decide to move the troughs, I'm gonna to try to move the ones that I can handle instead of uh, bugging my, grand, um, sorry, my son-in-law. Now I thought you'd like to see a close-up of some of these. That's that little weed that I'm calling a chickweed there with the flowers. But there's a real up-close of the moss with its little 
capsule stalks with a spore capsule on the end of it. See those little tiny short ones with the ball and then those comparatively taller ones on little thin strands. But I think they look so interesting close up and I really love them. I think that's chickweed. If you know of another flower, let me know or weed. Now this is more, you can see some of the browning areas which have greened up. There's one of the dwarf iris. I'm hoping that I will get some iris blooms a little later on. And that's a little more close up of that umbrella type uh, stalk coming up from the liverwort. Still not sure what that is. Now the, I'm pretty close to some boxwood here and just thought you'd like to see how well it's doing. It really makes a nice backdrop for some of these hypertufa. And then I have a shrub that's next to the end. I don't know what this shrub is. It blooms like a forsythia, but it's white. All the flowers come out over it and then later the leaves. But I'm not real sure what that is. But now back down to the planter. I wanted to show you a little bit more close up of the moss, or at least as close as I can focus. Now those little flat, almost waxy looking things with a little round circle suction cup are the liverworts, at least what I'm identifying as a liverwort. I really think they're odd looking and they're very tough and rubbery feeling. It's they're just the weirdest thing and so I really like those. I hope it's not something that I'll regret planting there. But thanks for joining me this morning. This is just some of my gold flame uh, spirea that's blooming out. Looks really, really pretty in this springtime. But thanks a lot and come back for more videos later.